When living things reproduce, they pass DNA to their offspring. Through asexual reproduction, some living things, like bacteria, can reproduce without a partner. Offspring made this way are genetically identical to the parent. Other living things, like people, reproduce with a partner. This is called sexual reproduction. Offspring made this way inherit equal amounts of DNA from two parents. Each of us has two copies of every gene. The two copies may be the same, or they may be different. The combined output from all of our genes influences our inherited traits. When two biological parents make a child, each parent passes down one copy of each of their genes. For each gene, which copy is passed along is random, and it may be different for each child. Each child gets a unique combination of copies of all of their parents' genes. This mixing contributes to genetic variation. Because they share genes, children resemble their parents and each other. But unique gene combinations give each individual a unique set of inherited characteristics. Looking farther back in the family tree, the parents' DNA came from their parents. So the children also share DNA with their biological grandparents but the amount they share with each grandparent is only half as much as they share with each parent. Looking back to the great-grandparents, the children share DNA with all of them, but only half again as much. This inheritance pattern explains why you have more genes in common with closer relatives, like your mom, than you do with more distant relatives, like your great-grandmother. In this way, your DNA holds a record of our family relationships.